Hey everybody, I'm Ezzy Smith and welcome back to Fallout 4. We are here at the castle. In the last episode we left off where we had joined with Preston Garvey and a couple of the Minutemen and we were going to go in and take the castle back. So I've got Heather with me and dog meat of course. And let's go in and see what these guys are up to. Hey, they got some weapons here. That might be useful. A ah, big old jaguar. Hi there. So let's see. Let's take a head count. There's Heather. One, two, three, and Preston. Yeah, we've got this. <clears throat> Everyone's here, General. There it is. Pretty impressive, huh? Its real name is Fort Independence, but the many men always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. Hmm. Why do we need this place again? The radio tower is the most important part, but with a bit of work, this place could be a really strong outpost. Know what I mean? Definitely. For 600 years old? It's in pretty good shape. That's right. They don't make them like they used to. We take this place back, people will know we mean business. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. No. If we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Well, I kind of looked at it from outside. And I think if we try to split up, we're going to end up getting somebody killed. I think the firing line... We don't want to just rush in like a bunch of idiots. So the firing line sounds the best. Set up a firing line, and I'll draw them out. Sounds good. We'll hold back and wait for them to come to us. Just don't get yourself trapped in there. All right, people. You heard the general. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. Okay. Now, what I want to do... Let's see. Oh, my God. I've got explosives. 48 frag grenades. <laughs> All right. We are set. Let me run up there and get some mines so, thrown this down. This is the castle. No princess, and if we're lucky, no dragon. Yeah. That's very true. Lock and load. That's one. That's two. Nope. Wait a minute. Ah. Okay. Reload. Yep. Okay, that's pretty good. Hold up. Oh. Heather, look out. You okay? Heads up. Incoming. Sorry. Got it. Okay. Let's change out. Uh, let's do some grenades here. Damn. Looks like they've been nesting. We're gonna have to take yep. out these eggs, or they'll be back before we know it. Lurks like to hold up inside old buildings, so the walls are probably full of them. Sure looks that way. Here's how we're gonna play this. You hold here in the courtyard and take care of any eggs you find. The general and I will clear the wall. Yes, sir. Let's do this, general. Yeah, we've Just got it. All mine. And the signs. We're going to get some omelets out of this deal. 
Face got huggers. Incoming. There we go. Hey, look at this. Aren't gonna need that anymore. Okay, keep going, guys. How are we all? We got one, two. Okay. What I think we're doing that? all right. Two, three. All right. Good work, people. But we aren't done yet. The general and I are going to have a look at the radio to see what shape it's in. The rest of you, clear out any remaining Meyer Lurks or eggs you find. Okay. They're going to uh, start going around. I want to go inside and make sure it's clear. Okay. Sometimes you'll see two death clubs fighting in the distance. It's fun to watch until they see you and decide to team up and come after you. <laughs> yep. Just being cautious. That's a Meyer lurk. That's a Meyer Lurk, too. Yep. Very nice. Okay. We're getting the job done. Now, let's see. I think that's everything. Well, I guess it could be worse. Let's see what you can do with it. I'm gonna go see what else hey. is left around this old place. There we go. Guns and bullets. Plasma, the weapon of tomorrow. Ballistic weapons permanently do plus five percent critical damage. Very nice. I'm gonna take that. All right. Now I'm using a mod uh, for the castle that just kind of they kind of scrap everything for you and collect it and put it in here so it's easier to deal with so what I'm going to do there's nothing more in here than what you would normally find if you were to scrap everything in here at the castle and collect everything I'll link to the mod in the description but we're going to Store all the junk. There we are. We're going to store this stuff. Yeah, blowback, flamer. 
I'm going to keep that Kalasha freezing with me. And still got uh, Krim's tooth. <laughs> Couple of missile launchers. Yeah. Don't need those. Let's... Okay. Let's see what kind of generator I can build. Those guys are still gunning away. Okay, there's a switch. Hmm. So, well, a nuclear generator would be nice right there. And of course, I'm lacking one nuclear material to make it. I wonder. I do wonder. Is there... Ha. Huh. I don't suppose... Hey there. What's up? Let's see what you have. Here you go. Let's see what she sells. I doubt. Yeah, she doesn't have any nuclear material. Does she have anything that would be broken down for nuclear material? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Is there a place nearby where I could find nuclear material? Uh, okay. That. Huh. No, I guess not. We'll just put a temporary one down for now. We'll put one of those backup generators. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, one of these. This will be all right. 20 power. Shouldn't be a problem. And... I would much rather than a power pole. I'd like to have some light out here. So, we'll go about midway. Get a look at it. Eh. Is that gonna re... Noise. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where at? Let's take him out. Oh no. Nope. You okay? Yeah, I don't want to lose one of my Minutemen, so... <laughs> Target practice. Yeah, it figures. Heads up! Incoming! Not hiding this time! Get him! Oh! Sorry. Easy there. 
Let's get back to building this thing. Those guys are making me nervous up there, though. <laughs> You just know they're going to screw something up. Alright. Let's see. Where was this thing? Alright. Halfway. And we're going to use the wire glitch. Go right through here. That worked nicely. Hey, the lights are on. Very good. There we are. And down to the radio. We're doing good. Wow, we really did it. I've been watching the men and men fall to pieces for so long, I just... This is really something. Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. Very Which cool. Reminds, I've got another trouble spot for you to check out. <laughs> Settlement has, but they're worried the super mutants will come back in force. You better get over there before it's too late. Ten Pines Bluff. No kidding. Okay. It's a long ways. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, Voice of the Minutemen. All right. Let's throw some. My robot. Anybody in the vicinity of Grey Garden, please go see what they need there. A robot. What did he say? Something about Grey Garden. Hmm. I'll have to listen back to that. Troubled Waters. Talk, travel to Grey Garden. Yep, they're going to start throwing stuff at me now. Okay. Defense. Let's see. Hurts. We'll put a couple of turrets down. Uh, I want them right in the main doorway, so that would probably be this way. Nope. What the hell is that main door? There it is. There's one, and we'll just put one top side for now. Okay. And look at this, Preston. He's heading back. Come on, Heather. Dog meat. I made a promise. Hey, Preston. We did it, dude. Hello. Yep. Okay. Looks like we're okay. We should get going. Yeah, we're working on it. We're heading to University Point. Which should be down... That way, I see a blood bug up there. I see several of them. Hmm. Get out the old salt carbine. Yep, here they come. Got that one. What's that floating out in the water? Ooh. Green armor of the acrobat. Assault reduces falling damage by 50. Ah. I kind of like the looks of that. <laughs> a 
Okay, let's see. What is this? Scavenger. Hmm. Yep. Blood bugs got her. That's a shame. All right, let's see if we can follow the coast down. Hello, hello. I've got your back. Nuclear material. That figures, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, well. Okay. What? Oh. You get him? <laughs> the hell? Let's keep moving. Should be down. Uh oh. We gotta go across the water. There we are. Should be down this way. Matter of fact, we should be there. Isn't this it? Yeah, University Point. Okay, let's get ready in case some synths came back. I want to be prepared. Been taking the gunslinger perk for just such an occasion. See what it says here. Okay, that's not take Heather to University Point, so Hello. Yep. Is someone present? Heads up. Let's get in there and get him. Hey! Yep. Whoa! It's a tough Shot his arm off. Wow. I thought I saw movement. Yep. I'm sure that's one. Yep. Got him. All right. Heather's right there. There's a synth. Lock and load. Got him. Yep. Gunslinger's doing better with that perk. Definitely makes a difference. Well, I guess that's all of them. Okay. I need to ask you something. Hey, partner. Need something? What's on your mind? Guess I should tell you about that day. It was raining. The kind that falls gently and makes everything a little blurry, like you're looking out through a window. Georgie and I were drinking tea, just hanging out, shooting the shit, 
waiting for customers. It was just a day. Nothing special, you know? No hint, no warning, just bam. It was on. Blue and white lights flashing in the sky, and everywhere you look, there's a synth. Man. That's terrible. They were everywhere. In the buildings, on top of the buildings. And they came out hitting hard with lasers and those goddamn batons. It was chaos. People screaming and trying to get away. The fuckers chased down every single kid to make sure they died, along with the rest of us. Can you imagine doing that to kids? We fought back the best we could, but there were just too many of them. In the end, a synth got me in the face with one of those fucking batons and knocked me down and out. When I came to, Georgie was lying dead next to me. I laid next to Georgie for hours, waiting for them to stop killing, to stop searching, and to just stop being there. Worst part, Georgie's life fading away while I lay there listening to the gruff-voiced motherfucker suck on his cigars. Want to know why the Institute destroyed the whole place? Why? A traitor sold us out to the Institute. One of the regulars, probably. Cricket, or someone that's disappeared since then. No one knows for sure. If I knew it was Cricket, I would have put her down like a rad stag. But I don't. So, someone else gets to pay for Georgie's death. Which is why I kill synths. And needed to find that scar-faced, cigar-smoking, sister-killing, motherfucking Kellogg. Man. Wow. Well, we took out Kellogg. But... All of this is true, too. I am very sorry for what happened to her. I feel bad for her. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. You already did the most important thing. Kellogg's dead. Fucker paid for taking Georgie away from me. You know, I had nightmares for months. I still dream about Georgie, but they're mostly nice now. You know, we're just talking and hanging out. I miss her so much. It was so unfair. One minute she was alive, and the next just dead. Right in front of me, and there was nothing I could do about it. Yeah... I saw my wife killed, my son taken, and was powerless to stop it. I understand how you feel. Your sympathy means a lot to me. And thanks. Thanks for bringing me here. I needed it. Needed to shut down that chapter of my life. Question is, what am I going to do now? Guess it's time to start the next chapter. Yeah? Yeah, we'll just have to see what happens next. Hmm. Well. At least she's come to terms with it, you know. This place. It doesn't haunt her like it did. Oh! We forgot to stop in it. <laughs> That's at, uh, Coastal, or not Coastal Cottage, uh, County Crossing. I got a message saying that was ready. So let's see, uh, we need to get to Diamond City to check Doc Crocker's records to find out, uh, more about that murderer that, uh, Sanctuary Joe told us about. Wait a minute. Promising partnership. Chat with Heather. Ah, okay. Well, something's still going on. Get that little halo off the top of her head. <laughs> what are we losing daylight? Hey. Hey. Hiya, handsome. <laughs> Hi. What's on your mind? I have 
have a very personal question for you. I hope you don't mind. Do you still love your wife? Think about her? Wish she was here with you? Uh, wow. Well, yeah, of course. But, uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> um... Well, yeah. That's... I did... Of course. But she's gone. And you have to move on from that. Finding Sean would be Izzy's number one priority, I would think. He's been doing a lot of running around the Commonwealth, shooting and taking out a lot of raiders and everything, but still... Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I figured as much. I'm falling in love with you. If you tell me now that you'll never feel this way about me, I promise I'll never bring it up again. But if there's a chance you could ever feel the same way about me, wow. tell me now, please. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot to consider here. Uh, boy, you really got to think about this one where your situation is, but getting over. Uh, no, that's not true there. Number two. Number three. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm still not sure how I feel. I need more time. I can do that. I can give you more time. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome, though. <laughs> they do make a good couple. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess it's um, off to County Crossing and then to... Boy, that's something, though. That's... Hmm. She's grinning. <laughs> Let's head on up to... Uh... County Crossing, wrap that up, and then we'll head over to Diamond City and see about the County Crossing should be closer. Straight shot. Well, pretty much. Yeah, they're about the same. Yeah, okay. We will see you at County Crossing in, uh, let's get that, there we go. We'll see you at County Crossing in just a bit, unless something major happens, and then you'll see it right here. Wow, that's pretty heavy. Okay, it was a little crazy getting here, but uh, we made it to County Crossing. Mostly it was uh, a couple of super mutants, and it got dark, and I kind of took a wrong turn, and <laughs> we took out some raiders. But other than that, nothing too spectacular, nothing major. So we're here. Yeah, uh, what? Okay. Friendly reminder. Word spreading all over the Commonwealth. The Minutemen are back. They've set up a radio station for the address. No kidding. I hope they stick around for the rest of We need them. Definitely. Yep, we are back. 
Now, let's get in there and check out what is up with the water supply. Oh no. What are we shooting at? Don't much care for good neighbor. That place is nothing but trouble. Okay. I think I better just make a run around the perimeter real quick. He's a caravan guard. There's... Okay, here comes my... That's... Yeah. Hey, he's going to Zamonja. These are mine. That's... She's coming to County Crossing, so yeah. Okay. We're good. <laughs> All right. Let me just run around the perimeter and make sure everything's cool. And also, I've got a couple of things i got to drop off, so that won't take but a moment. We need them. Definitely. Keep that. Okay. Whoop. Hey. D listen. Let me give me a problem. Besides, I think there's something wrong with your engine. <laughs> so they're all yakking about how the Minutemen are back and while I'm storing stuff and everything. And town looks really good. Okay, now we were going to... Hi, Chuck. Pretty tough there. Okay. We were going to check this, and then we heard the guns go off. Now, when we left off, this is all Sim Settlements, by the way. There was a Nuka Melon, and we needed to get a bunch of melons here, which we did, and then it took a while. Let's see what has happened. Is where we left off. Eureka! I did it! I finally recreated the Nuka Melon. Thanks to another anonymous donation, that was us, me, I was able to go over time on the experiments. It turns out you first have to oversaturate the melons long enough to reach a viscosity level equivalent to that of a gelatin, science mumbo jumbo, using a combination of osmosis and electrolysis. More, more scientific talk. Hard part was then dehydrating to reduce overall snooze. Okay. That's all right. So we check back in. What happened? Check back later. To see how the research product. Okay. All right. Okay. It's taking a while. Man, I hope it turns out that we get some new Coca Cola. Cast Don. Where's Heather? Got ah, yeah, I see her. There she is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey. Hey. Uh, there's something in my way. Ah, there would be. <laughs> if you stay sharp, it's pretty easy to avoid Yagwai. You can smell them long before you can see them. <laughs> Word spread all over the Commonwealth. The Minutemen back. Yep. Set up radio station to coordinate their efforts. No kidding. 
Oh, oh I hope they stick around for good this time. Yeah, I forgot. I need to, uh... Yeah, this... I'm gonna have to check on the food situation with this place. Okay. Nothing to fear. On it. What's on your mind? Wish I'd lived before the Great War. Imagine being able to go into a restaurant and order anything you want. <laughs> that was it. Got it. All right. I think our next stop is um, Diamond City. So, okay. That'll do it for today. Thanks for watching. My name is Izzy Smith, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, and uh, feel free to leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel, click on that little bell for notifications of whenever new videos are made, and all that good stuff. Okay. Until next time, take it easy. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs>